hello everybody and welcome to my channel you've reached another teen mom family reunion recap and this is for episode number seven the name of this episode is something's fishy in more than one way so let's get right into this recap we're back with ryan and kayla and kayla no longer wants to talk about the pregnancy kayla says this conversation with dr mike is stressful because her and ryan have no plans they haven't even talked about this kayla says they're running out of time ryan says if things can't be changed i don't want to have a baby kayla says she's kind of confused now because when she was pregnant with her son, Ryan wanted that child to be his. Kayla says now she's actually pregnant with his child and he doesn't want it and she doesn't understand. Kayla hasn't thought about what she wants regarding the baby. She says she kind of just pushed it to the side. So Dr. Mike says the both of you deal with things by shutting down, but right now it's not the time for you to shut down because this situation needs to be talked about. Dr. Mike says that you're so far along in this pregnancy. And this is what reminds me that reality TV is not real because at the beginning, Dr. Mike acted as though he didn't even know she was pregnant. And now suddenly he knows exactly how far along she is. Interesting. Dr. Mike says that they need to decide what they're going to do about this baby at the end of this reunion. Dr. Mike gives them homework to talk about this situation. Kayla says that she has a little bit of hope there and there's a lot of love there. They just need help navigating it. Ryan says he learned from the session of Kayla's traumas and why she would be hurt at the way he talks to her sometimes. Ryan says he's still confused about the baby, but it did help them to take some steps towards the future of their relationship. Phrase of the day, que rico huele. Kayla and Ryan are talking about how the session went and Kayla feels lighter. Ryan is glad that she actually spoke up. Kayla talks to Ryan about the fact that she saw a softer side in him in there and she talks about teamwork. Jade is on a video call with Brianna and Brianna is like oh my gosh I, I wish I was there. Jade decides to invite Brianna on a couple's retreat. Yes Jade why not invite Brianna because she's single. This is a couple's retreat. It makes absolutely no sense. But you guys do know that we are watching MTV and common sense is not necessarily a trait of the people that are on this show. Jade, you so shady. She gets on here talking about how Brianna's her girl and she's her bridesmaid at her wedding and all, but that girl cannot pick men to save her damn life. Kate asks everyone who's interested in having more children, how is this a vacation topic? Mackenzie would like more children. Sean would like more children, but he's waiting on the lead of Jade. And Cheyenne and Zach, Cheyenne says that she doesn't think that Zach wants to hear her answer. He's basically waiting on her to answer. Sometimes when these folks talk on these reality shows, I have no idea how to word it properly. So I'm just gonna let them answer and you guys listen. I would be okay with the two I have. Uh -huh. But I think I just wanna get to that next step in my life to where I can bring another child in. I think Zach needs to learn how to kind of like step into this new role as a husband, as a father. Was Cheyenne saying that Zach hasn't fully grown into the fatherhood and husband thing? Child, I don't even know what that was about. Sean and Tyler are bored, so they're playing with water guns. I'm not even joking. Cassanio and Mackenzie are hosting a cooking night. The guys have to go get the ingredients. The girls are going to see a fishmonger. I am assuming they're just going to a fish market or something like that. Cheyenne says the men got off easy, which I agree with, because please send me to the supermarket to get the ingredients. So Mackenzie says she's a country girl, and she says they were poor. Unless they shot the deer or caught the catfish themselves, they didn't have protein. And the girls head off. So for some reason, Mackenzie didn't feel the sensation to urinate when she was at the damn hotel. She had to pee so bad when they got to the fishmonger that she had to go use an outhouse. MTV, I could have gone a million years and not had to have heard Mackenzie peeing. And now she has a pee bucket and she doesn't know where she's supposed to dump it. Or you could have left it in there and let them figure it out. Ladies, y'all supposed to be in relationships. You're not supposed to be eyeballing the fishmonger. So now the fishmonger is here. I don't know why I expected some old 99 year old man with a cane, but apparently I was wrong. These women are lusting over this man. In Spanish, Yasser explains that they're going to show the girls how to prepare the fish. Jade translated what he said and I am 
super impressed. Meanwhile, the guys are going to get the ingredients. Kes is taking the lead, whipping out the Espanol for the people. Kes tells us that the market is just like in Jamaica. The fruits and stuff that he's seeing reminds him so much of Jamaica. Here I was, I thought that the ladies were just gonna come pick up some already cut up fish, but apparently they actually have to stand here and watch it being done and also do it. Mackenzie goes first and she says she loves doing stuff like this. This is what she was raised doing. And they were scaling fish one minute and the next minute Mackenzie's in a boat with some random Colombian man. Ciao. The men are still shopping. Finally, he turns the ship around and we are headed back to shore. Jade lets Cheyenne know that she's invited Brianna to come to Colombia. Everybody's back at the house. Now they're settled in and here's Micaiah. Cheyenne says that her and Zach agree that after that situation they had when they had that little argument, it would be a good idea to talk to Micaiah. So Micaiah brings up the fact that their anniversary is coming up and she asks, what is next for you as a married couple? Cheyenne says that we've pretty much knocked out all of the goals dealing with Zach's legal crap, dealing with buying a house and having a baby. And then she says, and now Zach wants to have another baby. I want another kid. I would love to have, you know, a biological girl to see the girl side of me. Zach says he wants a biological girl to see the girl side of him that is not the reason why you have a baby Zach it's that's just weird it's weird and there's not even a guarantee unless y'all do an IVF and you're gonna pick out all of the girl embryos there's no guarantee that when she gets pregnant she's gonna have a girl anyway Micaiah asks Cheyenne what she wants and Cheyenne says she's good with her two children Cheyenne says she would be ready for another baby if Zach showed up in ways that would provide stability for her mentality, for her mental. What what are we missing here? I thought you guys were so perfect. Micaiah says, what are the ways that you're talking about for him to make you feel more secure? And Cheyenne says, career-wise. Okay, so you're a bum. Zach, you don't have no job. Is it because of your criminal past? I'm just wondering. Could it be he's having a hard time getting a job because he has a felony? So you, you married a freaking criminal. Girl, I'm trying not to judge, but... How can you be mad at a man who can't land a job and you knew he had a criminal past? According to this article on the Ashley's Roundup, um, I think I'm saying that wrong, but y'all got me. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, why would you marry somebody like that? So when you marry somebody who is a criminal, who did criminal things in their past, you cannot be mad when it's hard for them to get a job because you know what you signed up for. Zach was arrested in 2018. He was charged with grand larceny, y'all. That's a felony. He was also charged with five counts of false personation and cheat. So basically stealing somebody's personal identifying information and using it. So he's a thief. So he's a thief. So he was stealing. I would assume that it's very hard to get a job when you have a felony for stealing. Cheyenne explains that when he is working, it changes his entire demeanor. And that alone, that change would make her want to have another baby. Why can't he continue working with your family, Cheyenne? Knowing that he has a criminal past or whatever, and y'all trust him so much. Why can't he just continue to work with your family? Is my question. Micaiah asks Zach, what is standing in the way of him obtaining those goals. And I didn't even mention this, but he also has a DUI that he obtained before he was introduced to Team Mom OG. Micaiah's because every time you turn around, he has another charge added to his long rap sheet. Zach's response to Micaiah's question of what's getting in the way of you having that career was that he was getting in the way of himself. Well, Zach, you told no lies there. Zach says that there was nothing he could think of that he was passionate about and he still doesn't know what he wants to do. Cheyenne says a lot of things have to go through her name and her credit and I wonder why that is. I literally just told y'all why it is. That's why and this is what happens when you make the decision to marry a felon. Zach says he beats himself up for not being able to hold down the house like a man should. Cheyenne says that she's up working and he's just over there chilling, being a bum. She just wants him to move. And Zach says he's up every night in his head. That's your excuse? You're in your head? And you have the nerve to want another baby. Is she gonna be doing all the work with the new baby? If you don't get the hell out of here. Micaiah advises Cheyenne to let Zach know when she needs him without directing him. Micaiah encourages Cheyenne to be softer. Cheyenne says that the session with Micaiah went well and she feels that maybe if she steps back and lets Zach 
move forward. Maybe they will be able to have another baby. Sax says that Cheyenne was able to express herself well in this session, but he has a lot to work on within himself. His goal is to find a career that he's passionate about. You're in a house full of people, you're in a hotel, and you're on national TV, and you're peeing inside of a plant. Is there a shortage of toilets in this building or what? Gross. MTV, I swear this is the second person whose pee you're making me hear and I don't appreciate it. Cassanio is really excited for this family dinner. They have their family dinner and uh, Sean wasn't impressed. Kayla gets a phone call from her mom and I am really sorry. I did review Young and Pregnant. Girl, that was a million years ago. I don't remember her mama name. Kayla says that her mom tells her that she needs to tell her something very important. Y'all can read what Kayla's mom is telling her on the phone. Her mom says that there's a girl on a teen mom fan page who is claiming that she is dating Ryan. Kayla says the information about Ryan cheating was sent to like a teen mom page and she says that her mind was just racing. Kayla tells her mom to send her that information and then she gets up and she tells Jade, come in the bathroom with me, take your mic off. Kayla says she's pregnant with this man's child. She's getting all this information thrown at her and she doesn't know who to believe. Mackenzie and all of them don't know what's going on. Ryan says it seems like something is fishy. Kayla says that she feels like she's going through PTSD because she's already been in this situation while pregnant with Luke. Kayla kicks out all of the cameras. Mackenzie says to Ryan they both took their mics off and Ryan says I got a feeling it's about to get messy. Ryan says his spidey senses are tingling. He didn't say that I did. But anyway, he wants to know what the hell's going on, so he's gonna go check it out. Mackenzie has no idea what the hell's going on, but she wants to stay out of it. So nobody called for Ryan, but Ryan goes to the bathroom and goes to talk to Kayla. She's like, why would she put this on a fan page? And Ryan is like, as you can read here, because she wants to be famous. Because people can literally say anything, and unless they have proof, I tend to just try not to just believe everything I hear. Y'all can read what it says here, but Kayla wants Ryan out of her face. Ryan Ryan, I swear I was trying to give you the benefit of the damn doubt, but you just confirmed that you knew the girl and you used to mess around with her and you told Kayla about it. I don't feel like telling this story, so I'm going to let Ryan tell it. A few months ago, I was entertaining another woman, somebody I'd known for a very long time. It was just something to go back and be comfortable with because me and Kayla's going through our problems. Eventually, I cut it off, but she kept on reaching out. Kayla admits that she did know about the lady. She did know about that. But Ryan claimed that they never had sex and really it wasn't nothing. But the young lady is claiming that they're in a long-term relationship and they're dating. And she doesn't know who to believe. Even though Kayla told Jade what's going on, Jade says she's still not clear. Kayla says she feels embarrassed. She thought that they were making progress with the session that they had. Kayla was telling Jade that she was aware that he took another woman out to dinner. And Jade says, girl, you got to know your worth because even if y'all not on like that, y'all are still together. There's no reason why he's out here taking another woman to dinner. Jade suggests that Kayla talk to him, you know, to try to get the truth out of him. Jade says that Kayla needs to stand up for herself, pregnant or not. Cheyenne says, once a cheater, always a cheater. Orion is sitting here talking and Cheyenne asks if it's okay if they talk about it. And Ryan says, all right. And Cheyenne asks, is the relationship with the other woman done? And he says, yes. Jade asks Ryan, if he thinks the bitterness and jealousy is because he cut her off, the other lady, he says yes. So Ryan is like the, the young lady who he cut off, that's how she is. And to get that every little bit of spotlight, she would be contacting fan pages. He said he told Kayla that she might contact her. And Cheyenne says to Ryan, do you at all think that what you did was cheating? Ryan admits that he was cheating. So Jade asks Ryan outright, do you want this baby and Kayla in the long term, basically? And Ryan says, he's going to raise his baby regardless. And Jade says, I know you're a good dad. And then Ryan says that he doesn't want to raise his baby in a broken home. Cheyenne asks if they've decided to keep the baby or not. Ryan says, no, that decision hasn't been made yet. Jade says to Ryan that she doesn't think Kayla puts her self-worth as high as she should, and Ryan agrees. Cheyenne says to Ryan that it's big of you to admit the truth. 
that you, you you cheated. Cheyenne says it's becoming very hard not to judge Ryan. That's the way I feel about your man. You can tell that the tension in the house is at a high level and Ryan and Kayla are now gonna sit down and talk. Kayla says after talking to Jade, she realizes that she needs to assert herself more and know what the hell is going on. Kayla says, I need you to tell me again that you didn't have sex with this woman. Kayla, I'm really sorry, but my opinion is him and that lady were having sex. Ryan claims that he hasn't had sex with her. I don't believe him. Kayla says she doesn't want to get home and then the stuff keeps happening. And Ryan is like, well, we're here to get better. Ryan, if you don't want that lady, just tell her. Just tell her to her face. You just wanna you just wanna enjoy the rest of this vacation and drinks. That's what you really want. Kayla is not sure if she can trust Ryan, but she's choosing to believe that he's telling the truth. Jade says she is not buying his story and he got let off the hook way too easily. Ryan is over here apologizing. If you didn't do anything, what are you apologizing for? That's not suspicious. Lord have mercy, Brianna's here, and she brought somebody that we wouldn't expect. Who is it? All right, guys, that's the end of this recap. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.